Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to showing you how to run a DC motor using Arduino. So first, let's look at the parts that we'll need. We need an Arduino Uno, a DC motor, a transistor, which I'll be explaining, a diode, which I'll also be explaining, and a resistor, uh, preferably like 220 ohms, and some wires. So first, let's start building the circuit. So the first thing uh, we're going to do, we're going to grab a wire, put it into the output pin number 3, which is an analog pin on the Arduino over here. So we're going to do that. Now we're going to plug it in uh, to, onto the breadboard. So now we're going to take the resistor over here, and we're going to put it on. So now we have the resistor. So now we're going to be using the transistor. So basically what the transistor does, it receives the current to the base. And every uh, transistor has different settings. There's a collector, base, and an emitter. So the emitter goes to the ground. Collector is what outputs the voltage. And the base is what gets the voltage like from this pin. So now uh, in this transistor, the leftmost pin over here is an uh, emitter. Then we have the collector, and we have the base. So the base is going to be connected to this. So therefore, we put the transistor like this. So now it's in. So now the next step uh, is to connect the emitter to the ground. So we just take the ground from the Arduino, which has three uh, ground pins, put it on, and then put it to the emitter, which is over here. So like this. So now we have that connected. And now we're going to connect to the collector. We're going to connect to diode which is going to go over there. So the diode, what it does, it flows current in one way and not the other. So we put the, it with the collector and put it over here. So now we have that complete. Now we're going to use Arduino's 5 volts uh, output, which is the power pin over here. And we're going to connect it over here, just like that. Now uh, all we have to do is connect the motor. So to complete this off, we're gonna put the motor, uh, the positive or it doesn't matter. One of them, one of the pins, over here with the five volts, like that. And other uh, is gonna be the ground or the other one, which uh, is gonna be connected with a collector. So now we have uh, we have that collected, uh, connected. So the transistor is basically acting as a switch here, so that we can turn on and off the motor using the Arduino uh, PWM pins, which is the analog pins. So now uh, we have come, we've completed the circuit, and now we should uh, code the thing. So the program is pretty simple. Uh, basically, what you have to do is first define the motor as a variable. So uh, we're gonna say. Uh, yeah, as output pin 3, so int motor equals 3. Then we go to the setup. We just have to make that uh, pin an output pin. So pin mode motor, comma output. And in the loop, all we have to do is analog write because it's an analog pin, the motor, comma, and the speed that we want. So right now it's at 0, so it's not going to be working right now. So now let's connect the Arduino via the USB cable and upload the program. So right now it's at zero. So let's upload the program. First, all you have to do is check everything's right. Upload. And the motor's not moving. So now to make it move, uh, the Arduino PWM range from zero to 255. So let's try 255. It's going to be full speed. Now let's upload. And it's moving, you can hear that. So we can also play around, uh, let's do 150. You no know, sound's lower, it's moving at a lower speed. As you can see. Let's go back to 255. Again, full speed. So thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Please.